Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And one of the the most important tool that I know of in Corel Draw is the Smart Fill tool to make different items, make different shapes. And you could weld that, and that's a shape. But if you wanted to make that shape, you can fill it in, and it makes that object. And then you can left click and right click or whatever. But that's not what the video back. Some somebody contacted me and said their Smart Fill is not is missing. Well, there's a couple of things. It's normally on this toolbar, and there's mine right there. And if you hit the plus sign, you need to check to make sure it's checked, because if it's not checked, it disappears. And then if you want to go back to it, just go back and check it. But I've done several videos on this before. But let's play it safe, and let's think about this. If you hold down the Alt and Control button, and drag it and place it up in here. Now you have two smart fill tools. You have one up in here and one up in there. In case this is a, a problem sometimes if your toolbars are too big, you can uh, make them larger or smaller and they might go off the page. So you could always have some of your favorite tools that you use up top that are easier accessible. So let's, well, I had this smart fill. So if we wanted this shape filled in, there's a smart fill tool and we fill it in. And just a little bit about the smart fill tool. I have no outline and I have black fill. Well, you can also, let's make a shape of this with, with no fill and specify a hairline and make it red. So if we just wanted to fill that in, no, it doesn't matter if it's that or a text, there's a perfect smart fill with no fill in an outline. This is really kind of neat for letters. If you wanted that T, take your smart fill tool, fill it in, and now you have a hairline T of that object. Smart fill tool is very useful. One, it helps you find leaks, and a leak is an item, I'll just keep going, a leak is an item, let's just draw a box, and then zoom in here and take the virtual segment delete key, and delete that part. Well, I'm gonna have a leak right there. We'll actually make it closer. And something you might not be able to see when you're looking away from it. That's why when I smart fill tool, I always take a rectangle and put it around the item I'm gonna fill, and you see, well, you can't see because I got it set on. So let's back up here and make it, make it a fill black in no outline. And then when we fill it, it leaks to the outer surface. So that way it'll help you find that leak if that item has a leak. And to help you find a leak, you can always take two lines and draw two lines and fill this one in, it doesn't leak. Fill that one in, it doesn't leak. So this one's gonna leak, so you know that the leak is up in between these two lines. And then you could, and then you could actually draw another line and go smart fill. Well, now you know it's at the top. So there's a leak right there and you could more readily see it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.